Hi everybody. Um, here is week 10's summary. Uh, law is one way the government can define the boundaries and acceptable practices that a business might otherwise exceed while staying in their own ethical and moral allowances. Ethics and morals can also be so strong in the minds of groups and individuals that they can cloud what's right for the many and focus on those few. The law department has become an important filter for much of the public action of companies and organizations. Because it is so important that companies not make moves or statements that immediately and irrevocably put them in harm's way due to an otherwise unforeseen legal issue. The law department is there to review and approve purchases, agreements, and other decisions that can have a long-lasting negative effect on a company if not ideologically and legally vetted. So many of our company destroying headlines and scandals and stories of the last 30 years might have been effectively nullified and avoided if a great team of lawyers had intervened between Action A and Media Exposé B. The law can promote free enterprise and capitalism by protecting the interests of entrepreneurs. For instance, copyright law says that if a person comes up with a marketable idea and wants to profit from that idea, that they can patent that idea and promote it as their own, exclusively for a time, so that someone less innovative can't simply come along and benefit from another's expensive research and development for free by stealing and remanufacturing the stolen idea. The law can hamper free enterprise and capitalism by protecting the masses from companies looking to cut costs at public expense. For example, a company might be closer to a river than to a dump, and the dump may have a fee attached to the service of accepting waste, while the river does not have a monetary fee, but rather a less visible latent fee of sickness or death downriver. The law protects the community downriver from the company who may believe that dumping a certain amount of toxins just isn't that bad. And that protection may restrict the company by adding what it sees as a profit-cutting expense to the process. The law helps clarify the issue of dumping for a company with a cloudy moral pool. Uh, one way that we can avoid something like uh, litigation in courts is alternative dispute resolution. Alternative dispute resolution involves using techniques such as mediation to conclude and resolve disputes without using litigious methods. Since the extravagant uh, lawyer's fees that are part of the, lit of the litigious process and the red tape that go along procedurally with pursuing a court case <clears throat> can cost so much time and money, ADR can potentially save both. Less anticipation and worry can result, potentially helping to ease the resolution process. Less stress is definitely a pro. However, since the tried and true long-standing traditions of litigious protocol are left behind, the alternative methods can lead down untread paths with unforeseen uh, consequences, hidden traps, unvetted rules, and unplugged loopholes. What's more, if the alternative dispute resolvers like the process and it finds some success, the ease of starting the process and lack of associated monetary costs might lead to an unforeseen increase in disputes being pursued using the process, which would otherwise be too expensive or time-consuming with litigious processes. This might actually result in an increase in disputes being brought to light, but not necessarily being resolved any more readily. Thanks very much for a great week of learning, and I look forward to um, talking to you again next week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.